The complaints continue to come in to contact Denver 7. Homeowners associations foreclosing on homes, charging on affordable fees, failing to do basic maintenance. Tonight, we're taking an in-depth look at Colorado's HOA problem, from proposed legislation to homeowner advocates to HOA foreclosures. We begin tonight with Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen. I bought through the Boulder Affordable Housing Program in 2005. Kathleen Kriska thought her first home would be her forever home. I'm leaving. As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm packing up some of my beloved things. Until things went sideways with her HOA at the Steel Yards condo complex in Boulder. There's a hole in the ceiling. Yes, good question, Jacqueline. She took us on a tour of unfinished repairs, crumbling sidewalks, and rotting wood. There were termites. This is just but one bill for $10,000. When this former accountant asked for the HOA's financials, she says the documents she finally got were incomplete or infuriating. They were spending money on um, holiday lighting, for example. What I'm hearing you say is that you're paying for HOA dues but not getting the services. That's correct. Everything that we've been paying for, that we contract for, bush shoveling, ice mitigation, none of it has been happening. Last year, Kathleen filed this lawsuit against the HOA claiming negligence, and they countersued for defamation. In a statement to contact number seven, an HOA attorney denies each of Kathleen's allegations. Where does she go to make a dispute and have it resolved? In the state of Colorado, the answer is, Nowhere except a litigious, costly, time-consuming court system. Stan Harensovich heads up Colorado HOA Forum, a homeowner advocacy group pushing for reform. He says unchecked HOA power especially hurts people who can't afford to fight back in court. And you know what the legislature has done so far? Nothing. You shouldn't have to fight against a, a rigged system. State Representative Brianna Titone is sponsoring one of several HOA reform bills to limit HOA fees and give homeowners out of court options. It's almost like a dictatorship. Too late for Kathleen, planning to rent out her condo while still fighting her HOA in court. It was a very difficult decision to make and it's been very, very expensive and time consuming. For Contact Denver 7, I'm Jacqueline Allen.